So in our last video, we looked at actually making a terrain and using basic terrain tools that are part of the Unity Editor to actually go through and modify our terrain manually like this. And although it will actually work out quite quickly for us for very small projects, for larger projects and bigger open world areas, it's a lot easier to do it slightly differently. So we're actually going to use something that Unity allows us to do is to actually import a raw height map. Now, to do this, we can actually do it a couple of different ways. The very first thing we're going to do is have a look at our import raw file. The very first thing is, is it's actually asking for a, a raw format. Now, we can actually go through, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And to open it up, let's first start with Photoshop. So Photoshop's actually going to allow us to draw our terrain in a very basic manner. So we're actually, what we're going to be drawing is a height map, and a height map is purely a grayscale drawing. So the very first thing we need to do is go to File, New, and we're going to change a couple of things that you're not quite used to. So the very first thing is we'll call it, um, let's just say height map. And just to be specific, I'm just going to write horror one on that as well, so I can find it later. 100. Let's go for a width of a thousand, a height of one thousand. Now there are better ways to do this. Um, I've just given you the basics way of doing things. The color mode we actually need to change to grayscale because we only need to read that grayscale image, and we'll leave all the other settings as default. So we'll click OK, and what that will do is that will create our new square image. So what do we need? The only real tool that we need is the brush tool, which can be found on the left-hand side and can be cycled through from a B. The very next thing I'm going to do is change the style of brush that I've got, just the basic one, and to test it to make sure it's working, I'm just going to pick a very dark black, and you can see that that is relatively black. So the way that it actually works is you need some basic way of doing things. So black means zero. So it will have a height of zero. Your white would be the highest point on the map. And that highest point will actually be a number of different things. So just to break it down, let's do this. So you first off have black. The next one would also be would be white. Now the part in the middle, and this is where it gets interesting, is your different shades of grey. So if I just set that now just to a middle bar of grey, and actually colored it correctly, what you end up with is three different layers. Now if I was to go through and import that now, that would actually bring up a very weird looking terrain. But just to go through them, black is zero, your bottom of your height. White is the top of your height map. And the different shades of gray, and you do get a whole heap of different variations of them, are basically the, the tools that use different bits and pieces. So a darker grey would be closer to ground, whereas a lighter grey would be closer to the top. And using this premise, you can actually make a, a very decent uh, looking terrain to give you just a starting point. You would still need to refine it, but it's a good starting point. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to select those layers that I created and dump them in the trash. I'm also going to create a new layer and I'm going to call that base terrain. And the very next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw out the background as well because I don't need that background. So the base terrain is actually, as you can see, currently transparent, not what I want initially. So I'm just going to go through and select black. Now to change your color, if I did speed through that a bit too quickly. Click on your black color icon or whatever color it is, and you can select your color. We actually want to just use this left-hand side 
and I'm just going to select black down the bottom left corner. So if we click OK, I'm just going to use my paint tool and set the entire thing to black. What that's going to do is it's going to allow me to actually create my terrain. Now, this would be zero among everywhere. It gives me at least terrain in every spot without causing any issues or errors. The very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new terrain or a new layer. And I'm going to call this detail. So the detail is actually going to be just where I want different bits and pieces to go. So the very first thing I'm going to put in is let's pick a, a basic brush. I'm going to choose a size to be relatively large and the hardness can be a bit as well. And the very first thing is let's just pick a slightly darker grey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up just a funny looking island looking thing. And you'll see something like that. So just by right clicking you can bring up this and I'm going to just change that size of this a little bit. And you can see that you can colour it in as you go. Now if you miss any spots it doesn't matter too much but the better detail is the better. Change the colour swatch to something else. Let's go with a little bit lighter again. And let's build out just something basic along here. Put a bit of a mountain there. All right. And keep going through with it. I'm just speeding through this, so you're not going to get the best value. The more time you spend doing this base image, the better. Now, I just quickly went a little bit too fast on that one, so I'm just going to go through and decrease my size again. Again, to bring up that tool, just right click on your picture. And let's just put just a random thing in there as well. Now that's a very basic height map. Now that's only the first part, so drawing the height map in. The next part is to actually save it, and to save it we need to go File, let's go Save As, and I'm actually going to save this one in the same place where all my other stuff is. Let's go in under the, the Assets folder, and I'm just going to call this one Height Map Horror, not a Photoshop. We actually have to change this format, and the format we need, as you may remember, is a .raw file. So I'm going to just save it as that .raw file. Once we have that, you'll see it's a .raw, and click Save. We're going to leave it as a Photoshop RAW, as an 8BIM, header 0, and we're going to leave everything as it is. So we're going to click OK. And from here, we're going to go back to Unity. So the very first thing I'm going to do is rather than create losing this terrain, I'm actually going to go through and just create another terrain. So you'll see that big grey icon come on. So I'm going to disable this one, as you can see, just by unchecking that checkbox. Going back to our grey terrain, you'll see that your settings have now reverted back to 2000 because it's a brand new terrain. So let's set that to 1000, our terrain length to 1000. And the terrain height, let's set to 300 just to make it a little bit different. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Import Raw. And this Import Raw button will allow me to have a look at my different bits and pieces, where all my stuff is. And you'll see that when I navigate to it, the height map horror one is there as a raw file. I click Open. And it comes up with a couple of different bit of, couple of options. So I've got bit 8, 1000, 1000 and Mac and Windows. We're actually going to leave it on Mac for now. And you'll see that this terrain size, 1000, 1300, 
is actually taken from those settings of width, length and height. So if we go import, it will go through and it will give me this basic style of what I had. So if I zoom out, you'll actually notice two things. The very first thing that you'll notice, if I just quickly swap between the two, is it is actually inverse, it's back to front. So on the right hand side, you'll see this big triangular looking piece. And in Unity, that big triangular looking piece, if you right click and move around it, is yeah. The other thing that you'll notice is all the way around the back, is there's just one random stick sticking out. That's actually not a bug, that was actually me just missing. And there's that black bit there. So it's so far so good, it's a good place to start with what we've got. We can then use some basic tools to actually make this look a little bit better. So to make this look a little bit better, click on my terrain, and you'll see that all these terrain tools are still here. And the very first thing I'm gonna use is a smoothing tool. I'm gonna turn the opacity down just a bit and really zoom in to some of them. Now these divots that you see here are just basically where I've missed it with the paintbrush quickly as I was speeding through it. And you can see that that's not quite smoothing the way I want. We made it too harsh in Photoshop. And by harsh means that I didn't take my time and have a multitude of different grays. So if I actually had to take my time selecting my color and only move it a little bit at a time, you get a lot better reaction. So let's increase our opacity. I'm even going to increase the brush size and really go through and try and smooth out some of those edges. Now this can take you quite some time to go through and smooth out, but it is one way to actually form terrain that actually really does start to work after a while. So increase my brush size as well, and you'll start to see if I actually have the right tool selected, so it's back to smoothing, you'll actually start to see that it does smooth out relatively quickly and does start to give you the desired effect if you want it like that. Now the one thing is I think it is a bit too high, so I probably shouldn't have gone for extreme white, but it is just the way that you're actually planning your game to be made. I also don't want this random thing here, so I'm just going to hit my set height tool Holding down shift, I can actually select the height I want and just let's bring that down. So you can actually make modifications to this. That height map that you use is purely just a starting point. So what you need to have done and complete is no terrain textures on your terrain yet, but the shape of your terrain. So we're going to make it as we go along the line. So you might need to make modifications to it, but if you have for the moment, just play around with your height map and then watch the next video to find out exactly what's needed. That will actually help you out quite significantly. Um, I'm going to keep on uh, working on this one just a little bit and uh, you might see the next reaction or I might show you another tool if I do get a little bit annoyed with uh, what I started with. Other than that, enjoy.